So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurav Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about Embedded Trainer Kit. So its order code is 2223 point three point five n So in this video we are going to discuss about its component net and its working. So let's start with the demonstration of uh, Embedded Trainer Kit. So this is the Embedded Trainer Kit we are having. So, firstly I will tell you about the components which are fitted in this trainer kit. Starting from this USB connector, here you can connect the USB cable for, from device to the CPU. The switch for the USB connector on and off. This green light is the indicator light of the USB connection. Moving on. To this, this side, we are having the input switches IP1 to IP8. The input switches LED lights is being given, LED output lights is being given over here. A display LED di display is given, 7 segment LED LTD, LCD segment is also given over here. Switch uh, connection. Through these connecting, uh, we can connect the wires with these. FRC film plate is being given. This is the PIC CPU card. This is the PIC CPU card. This is the switch and reset button in this PIC CPU card. And IC is being already attached with this. So this is all about this embedded trainer kit. Now we will start the connection of embedded trainer kit. Firstly, this cable has been given. You have to connect it at the back side. At the back side of this trainer kit, like this. It's been connected. A switch is being given in the back side. Just turn on the switch and you can see the display is, can be seen over here. Now after this, after the connection of this wire, we have to connect this cable, this cable into the box here, this side. This is given the USB connector, just connect the cable to this port and the USB part to the CPU of your PC. Hello everyone. Now we are going to start the software part of the embedded trainer kit. So first of all this uh, pick kit is given pick kit 2 version 2.61 just double click on this a screen is shown in on your uh, a screen is shown in this the device pic 16 the kit we are having is this pic 16 has been detect detected by the by this program now go to this file Initially, we are going to start. We are going to show you the seven segment display program. So just click on this file. Click on import hex. Now in this we are uh, we have already given you the programs. Uh, select the seven segment program and just import it select it and import it it's been imported now just click on write see it is verifying the device program is being successfully uploaded at your trainer kit let me show you so as you can see we have uploaded the program and the LED 7 segment LED display is on 
it is showing the 600D. Similarly, we are next uh, going to show you how the uh, other modules can be worked upon this embedded trainer kit like stepper, motor and a relay module. So let's move on to that part. Before moving on to that part, let me show you another CPU card for this device. You can use both the device, uh, both the disc, CPU disc. This one is the PIC CPU card and this one is the 89CXX CPU card. You can use both. It has been given with this trainer kit only. So this is a servo motor kit connected with the embedded system, embedded trainer kit only. This is a servo motor and all the connections has been the done on this controller card, stepper motor controller card. Now we will start the connection of a servo motor with the embedded trainer kit. So let's start the connection. Firstly you can see there's this cable uh, is being given. So it is having a lock system. Lock one should be uh, attached to this one. Carefully attach this one, the lock one should be outside. This, this side would be inside. Okay. So connect this with this one. It will be connected like this one. This side would be, the closed one side would be here. So it is connected. Do it very carefully because it's very delicate. Just connect this one, the close one to this one. Check proper connections. It's being connected. Now take this FRC, FRC plate and connect this with this socket. Okay. This white plate, the lock plate should be there outwards and connect this plate with this, this socket. Connection should be done very, very carefully because if ground connection is done, the stepper motor will can, can get burned out. Okay. So this wire has been connected to this one and FRC plate should be connected to this socket. Now we are going to start the embedded trainer kit. Let's start this. Okay. It's been started. Okay. Switch and reset. Okay. Next we are going to do it on software. We have to upload the code for the stepper motor. So since we have uploaded the software of stepper motor, now we are going to see whether the stepper motor is working or not. Okay, so this is the stepper motor. For that, you have to just click on this switch button. Okay, let's click on this switch button. See your stepper motor started. Click on reset and again switch. Your stepper motor started revolving. Let's click on reset and click on switch the stepper motors start rotating so this is about the stepper motor program so another kit we are having is relay and opto module we can also use this kit in this embedded trainer kit for our uh, use for our application so if you want to buy this trainer kit you uh, its order code is 222362 20.3.5n you can also go to the tesla global website and search for this product now just again open the picket 2 software this window will appear since the picket has been uh, successfully connected with the with our pc so it has been showing device pic 16 f877a is connected now we have to repeat the similar steps as we have done in the seven segmented display. Click on the file option. Next step you have to do is click on the import hex. 
then select the program file you want to select since we are doing the stepper motor program on this embedded trainer kit just go on to the stepper motor trainer kit double click on stepper motor trainer kit now this file will appear hex file click single click on this and just open you can see on the screen hex file successfully imported it means we have successfully imported the hex file of the stepper motor now one last step is being remaining click on the right just click on the right option see where the device is verifying all the student and we can see that there is a programming successful means the program of this stepper motor is completed now we'll show you your ha hardware part the stepper motor is moving so this is all the demonstration from my side about the embedded trainer kit so if you have any query you can contact at tesla global website for other information about this product you can refer to the manual and information related to other products is given in the links given in the description thank you for watching this video if you like this video just like share and subscribe to our channel